do you do next? Floor it? Yes. No! No! Don't floor it! Floor it? No! No, no! Don't floor it! Okay, floor it! <laughs> Hey, what's going on everyone? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to drive a manual transmission. And without further ado, let's get into it. So if you're wanting to learn how to drive a manual transmission, the first step before you even get in the car is make sure you have actual shoes. Don't wear flip-flops, slides, sandals. Wear a good pair of tennis shoes that will not fall off your feet while you're trying to learn how to drive stick. The next thing you want to do is when you hop into the car, locate the three pedals down where your feet are. The clutch, the brake, and the gas. With your left leg, practice pressing the clutch pedal all the way in and slowly releasing it. Do it about five, 10 times, get a good feel for it. Next, when you think you're ready, move on over to the shifter. So right now the shifter is in neutral meaning it is safe to have the car on and running without having your foot on the clutch. So how you tell it to neutral is you're able to wiggle it back and forth, and this is naturally where the shifter rests. Practice sliding the shifter into first gear followed by second. I say first and second gear are the two most important gears that you want to practice on when you're first learning how to drive a manual. So either with the car on or off, Practice pressing the clutch in and take the gear selector into first gear, which will be to the left and up. So after practicing pressing the clutch pedal in and knowing where first gear is, now it's time to get the car rolling. Go ahead and put the car into first gear. And what most people will tell you what to do is there is a simultaneous action of letting the clutch out while giving it gas but for people starting out that have never driven stick shift before, what I always tell my friends or whoever I'm teaching is press the clutch pedal all the way in, put the car in first gear, and without gas, slowly let the clutch out until you feel the car start to roll. That is called the biting point. And then as soon as you see the car start to roll, slowly apply the gas. When in doubt, always give it gas. If you think you're going to stall, it's okay to overgas it. So I'm gonna press the clutch all the way in, put the car in first gear, and let the car start to roll forward as soon as I feel the biting point. And then once I start to move, slowly apply gas and let up off the clutch. It's as simple as that. Once you have mastered doing just that, next what you can start to do is put the car into second gear and then third and then fourth and then so on, if safe to do so. Right now I'm in an empty parking lot at a park, so obviously it is not safe enough to get up at a high speed and put the car in third and fourth gear. Practice makes perfect, I can't stress that enough. And you know, you might get it on the first and second try. Actually, you probably will, because most people that I have taught, they've, they've gotten it on the first and second try. And when I started out driving stick, when I was 16 years old, my first car was a 04 Jetta manual. I remember the first time I took it out on a public road, um, I stalled right in front of this ice cream shop that we have right by my house. And it was summertime, and then it was crazy busy, cars behind me. I was at a stoplight, I was getting ready to turn right. And I let the clutch out and I stalled it. And I, all I remember is this BMW SUV honking, laying on the horn. I was just like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? I was freaking out. And you know, I, I'm not even gonna lie. I was so mad, you know, I, I remember telling my dad, I was like, I hate stick, I never want to do it again. But, you know, if it wasn't for him, for him saying, no, you're gonna stick with it, you got the car, I probably wouldn't be driving stick. But anyways, once you master letting the clutch out and waiting for the biting point, what you can do next is put the clutch in, put the car in first gear, and then do the simultaneous action. 
don't wait to feel the biting point. The reason why I said to do this first, it's a good way to learn how to start. But if you keep doing that, you will quickly burn out your clutch and clutches are expensive. So I say that, you know, the, the quicker you get off the clutch, the longer life you're gonna give it, the longer it's gonna last. Hop on the clutch, let it out as quick as you can, and give it gas all simultaneously, you're in a good spot. And that's something to work up to, and you can definitely do that. It just takes time, practice, lots of repetition. Per practice makes perfect. If this is your first time to DNA Drives, my name is Garrett, I have a 2012 Mustang 5.0. Check the link right here to see what the channel is all about. I work with another guy, his name's Walker, and he does a lot of cool content on his dad's 300 SRT. So consider subscribing down below for weekly content on Mustangs and 300 SRTs. And then also check out my video on why you need to be driving a manual transmission along with drawbacks, cons about driving a manual transmission. So definitely check out those two videos right here. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.